that was a video of me uh, doing a bit of friction fire um, using a bow drill. Um, so I just wanted to follow up a little bit on that. Um, not talk about all the components, just just literally focus on the bearing block. Because um, obviously there's, you know, when it comes to bow drill and friction fire, there's thousands of videos on, on YouTube and that. Um, but uh, the way I sort of look at look at things or or try and do things, especially with like friction fires, is to go down the no wasted effort route um, and the point of least resistance. So uh, I've got a few bearing blocks here. I uh, just want to go over that quickly. Um, I hope uh, hope it's um, it'll help anyone that's uh, struggling. So anyway. So over here, this is actually the one I used yesterday. Um, that was a stone, literally just a stone I found. Um, if you needed to, you could probably you could probably div it out certain stone as well, just to make yourself nice. You can kind of see the um, the holes that I used there. You could potentially use that one there, just down there. It's a little bit to the side, so you have to sort of move it round a bit to figure out which which one you want to use that one there obviously it's got a little bit of a, a channel there so it could so your spindle could uh, could potentially fly out of that but it doesn't tend to so that stone wood obviously everyone uses loads of people use wood um, but wood does have the disadvantage of it can it can cause you issues with friction at the top obviously once the spindle's spinning around in there, you could get friction in there, um, which will lead the friction away from the business end. But um, if you use if you use greenwood, it's sort of self-lubricating, which is grand. Um, and then you could use a really sort of hardwood as well. That would work okay too. But the easiest to do, uh, if you are going to use wood, is just lubricate that with with some sort of leaves, you can use grass. Um, I've got some rhododendron leaves there in the back that, that work quite well. Ivy leaves, stuff like that. Um, always work well for me, anyway. Um, I have seen folks fashion themselves like a little stone in there for a bit of carving. Same, actually adding a little stone in the top there. Um, but again, I've, to me, that's a little bit of wasted effort. Um, which kind of defeats the, the the purpose of why you'd be doing this in the first place. So, easiest way is try not to use wood and just eliminate any friction problems in the first place by using stone. Uh, limpets, quite good. Um, I've got two here. The uh, reason for that is because they get quite hot in your hand. You could potentially use three. And sometimes they're a bit thin, so that one there is a little bit thinner. Uh, and I've, I've had it before where the spindles just sort of crack through there. Um, and um, but they are really good. They are actually they work really well for, for the bow drill. Got a bit of antler here. Um, I love this antler, but my um, it was really nicely beeswaxed at each end. Um, I had like a little. Sort of metal cone in there which I'd fashioned myself at home but my dog chewed it so um, anyway he, um, he didn't realize what how good it was but anyway um, the best thing about this was, was basically the, the grip it had and when you was using it so you could really push down nicely on the uh, the spindle now you can still use this it's, it's dead on a uh, similar sort of the way it works with wood but the, like I said, there was like a sort of little metal cone in there that um, would make it really easy to push down. Really nice that was for comfort anyway. Um, this is just a um, block of wood. Nice block of wood with, with um, it's bought um, with a metal cone in there. Probably good like as well if, you, if folks are starting out. And um, this is made by Condor. Uh, decent brand. Um, you could use like a roller, a roller blade wheel. I've seen people use for 
when they're starting out. So there's, a, there's still more options than what I've got here. But sorry, this was another little, uh, stone that I used, but it's, it's a bit on the heavy side. Um, for spinning, but the uh, the actual hole itself is, is quite a nice, uh, you know, it's quite nice working the spindle. Um, but again, you'd have to sort of find a bit of your where it would comfortably sit in your hand. So, um, so that's it for me. Those are sort of my bearing blocks. There are there are uh, more out there, and um, you can experiment. Um, but just remember, don't don't waste too much effort. All right. So, see you in my next video.